So how did all this come together? Well, it's been you know several months in the working. As, as Tim mentioned, sat down with Coach and started identifying need, and then I had a chance to visit with Tim over the summer numerous times, just talking about mechanically, like how does something like this work, and make sure that we're giving him information from our compliance department and looking at you know the insurance side of it. And so, you know, months of conversation to lead to the outcome. But as a group mentioned earlier, you know, Tim's willing to problem solve and be uh, open-minded to find solutions that benefit the moment of you know promotion of his dealership and also value for NIL is a, is a great outcome. So worth, worth the process to get here. Do you know how the athletes were selected? I think a combination of things, is, as Coach mentioned, you know, guys that have a transportation need. So part of NIL is us solving problems with our student athletes. And so there were a group that needed help with transportation, getting into and from the football stadium on a busy day. But, you know, obviously it's the promotion of Santan Ford. And so Tim was very selective on the athletes that he wanted to represent. Ford and Arizona Ford dealers and Santan Ford and so who they are as young men getting a chance to know them social media followings their interest in you know promoting a product or service so a combination of all those things this would have been unthinkable you know a few years ago it's absolutely unthinkable what is your thoughts just reflecting on how the university can help provide for these students yeah what well, we've talked a lot this summer about this is where NIL is done right in terms of bringing the tool of developing young people through sport and they're they're great students they're great athletes but we want them to understand what it's like to represent a business or a product or a company and have that be a part of their learning journey as a young person a young athlete etc and so a lot of them play their sports since they were four or five years old they don't have time for part-time jobs in high school they don't have time for internships they don't have time for work studies and so when you bring nil in as a way that they can gain some real life experience build a professional network and enter the workforce is a superhuman in a lot of ways. They're accountable, they're, they're dependable, they're good communicators as athletes and great students, but now they've got practical experience that they're bringing it in to a professional opportunity. And how does this partnership exactly work? Are there going to be social media posts, or what are kind of the responsibilities, so to speak, is yeah, representing? I don't know that I'm, I'm doubt in on all the particulars. The Sun Angel Collective, mm -hmm. you know, was help, helping broker the deal with Santan Ford, and so, mm -hmm. the, you know, dealership appearances, social media promotion, talking about, you know, what a great vehicle it is, and then a combination of all those things. How can this kind of create a snowball effect with other businesses, other potential dealers around the Well, we've been lucky to have a lot of our partners stepping up over the summer. And Santan Ford leading the charge, but Sprouts, Desert Financial Credit Union, Adidas, uh, Mountain America Credit Union have been some of the examples of long-standing, significant university partners that see value in NIL as a tool to promote their product or service. And we've seen it for the big brands, we also know there's a great opportunity with small businesses across the valley that may not want to bite off a full university partnership. NIL is a great way for them to get the benefit of a student athlete promoting a startup business or a local restaurant or a local service provider. And so we really want to use NIL as a tool to have big partnerships tied to the university in those moments and have that contribution to our student athletes and they get the benefit of promotion, but also use the spirit of you know, entrepreneurial mindset that's happening in the Valley where startups and small businesses see value in an athlete promoting what they're here to accomplish. How important is it to have the, you know, there will be plenty that talk, but you know, having a guy like Tim who's walking and literally putting money where it's yeah. Well, Tim Hovick is a guy who's always led by example, and he's been a, an ever-present figure across the Valley sports scene, the Valley philanthropic scene, and so when a leader in our community says, I see value in this as a platform, I see value in young, motivated, highly competitive, highly successful student athletes promoting my company, it's a good call to arms to say, hey, other companies need to follow this model and understand how ASU and our Sun Devil student athletes are valuable in promoting any number of companies and any number of services. Always good to have people that want to lead by example. Has there been a turning point over the last year or two where companies have been more interested in stepping up? Yeah. Well, a lot of it's been understanding what name, image, and likeness is, and that it's not about how does somebody step up to help a young person, it's how do they give the young person a moment to grow and develop. And I think the compensation or the, the vehicle that they're providing is a small piece of it, but again, it's about that resume experience, it's about that life experience, it's about building a professional network. and. I think one of the greatest attributes for anybody that comes to ASU, athletically or not, is tapping into this network of Sun Devils that are not only across the valley, but they're all over the world now. And building relationships and building connections that stay with you for life, the, the time period that they're Sun Devil football players will be very brief in the grand scheme of life. Us introducing these relationships and these moments for them to grow and develop might be the greatest opportunity that we're providing to the young people in our space.
sort of statement do you think this gives to future recruits that this is something you've got some stuff going on around you? It, I think the statement is that we want to be relevant in all the moments that recruits are looking for. And we offer world-class education. We offer world-class coaching in all of our sports, certainly including football. But now we're re very relevant in name, image, likeness, where we're able to activate the Valley. We're able to use this fifth largest metropolitan area in the country and bring companies of all shapes and sizes in that conversation. And you know, we've got 26 sports. We have almost 700 athletes from all over the world having a chance to plug into a company that they're proud to represent. But again, gaining that experience, gaining the benefit of promoting a product or service, it's a real it's a real consideration that recruits are looking at. And so again, having a company like Ford Motor Company, Santan Ford, Mountain America, Sprouts, et cetera, that are stepping up, it shows recruits and it shows this community around us that we're using NIL as a tool to compete for the best recruits in the country.